For the 50th anniversary, we decided to, um, to move the judging to London. Uh, we know all our judges are busy and we just felt a uh, central location was easier for everybody. So, uh, so we're excited to have found this great venue uh, right in the heart of London. And, um, and we have brought up quite a lot of new judges. Uh, most of the judges are in the buying, um, in the in obviously industry, in the wine in industry, but also have commercial influence. So they are basically have buying decision um, in terms of the wine. It's been a fantastic two days. We've tasted in the region of some 800 wines, and it's brilliant to see all the panels interacting so well. The wine judging committee taking on a supportive role, answering questions and queries, and just to see that sheer amount of wines moving from the bottle into the glass and being scored. It's exciting to be here. It's great to be with a lot of professionals that I knew from before, obviously from uh, the wine trade, um, and be talking to them and with them, comparing tasting notes. And we had a very good round of wines as well, which is good. It's uh, interesting because a lot of these competitions you see the same faces over and over again. And, uh, we've got a really eclectic uh, mix of judges on our table, uh, people from around the world, which is quite cool. I find it extremely fascinating to, to try those different wines, to have a good team of judges. Uh, I like the process and, uh, and hopefully the result will help producers. Obviously this is a big year of change for IWSC. So I've been brought in as one of the new faces to IWSC to give things a, a little bit of a, of, of a change. And it's been very exciting so far. I look forward to every day that I judge actually because there's always something that you learn or discover. Um, quite often expectations may not be met and other times expectations are exceeded and, and that I think is what's so fascinating about wine and about judging wine blind. <laughs>